Hi guys, I'm Mighty Balls. Today's video is regarding my mod pack. I've got a second version out, and the reason why I'm releasing it now is because a new patch has come, which is 9.14.1. So I thought I might as well bring this out so you guys can have it now. I wasn't going to bring it out until 9.15, but I'll show you the features and I'll show you how to install it in this video. Okay, so you go over to my website, which is mightyballs.website. The link is in the description of the video so you should be able to just click the link and it will go straight to this page. From here you click on the menu icon which is in the top right. You click on my mod pack. When you're on here you, you'll scroll down you'll see some features it has and then you'll see the download button you click that and you download and from there you, you'll have a little instructions saying download the file by clicking the button above then unzip it and you should have a folder in it called resmods now open your world of tanks folder it should be located within your games folder on your c drive delete the original resmod folder and simply replace my one over it and then happy days you might if you uh, haven't done so already need to go to xvm which is this website sign in and then activate or update or whatever you want to do. Okay then, let's take a look at some of the features this mod pack offers. Okay, first thing you'll notice when you log in is a ping of EU1 and EU2. So you can choose which server is the best for you. You'll notice again, you've got the EU1 and EU2. You've also got a locks on your gold so you can't spend any gold and also on your XP so you can't spend your XP on tanks when you're drunk or something. If you over hover over a tank you got the standard XVM details, standard XVM carousel and if you go to the server's record you've got all your coloured win rates, you've also got your WN8 efficiency and win rates all on there. So nothing spectacular there. You've also got a session log which I'll show you uh, this bit later after I've played a game. You've also got your mark of excellence on your carousel, it's a two part carousel. And also on this you see how we've got the camouflage, camo net and binos, it automatically switches between each one as you can see here. I've only got one binos and one camo net. Now if I have a look at this tank I've got binos and camo and if I go to another tank it automatically switches to help you guys so you only have to have one rather than have loads on each one and then spend time changing them maybe so let's go over to a battle so okay the first thing you'll notice is you'll have your names your badge who has XVM and also WN8 so on this section you've got your win rate how many games you've played and your WN8 On this section, you'll have your uh, how many, how much damage per game, how many games you had in that game, in that tank, and also your win rate in that tank. You've got your view distance and your render di distance, as shown there. You can also make your map instantly bigger by pressing the, the G key, and to remove the, it, you press the G again. You'll notice that you've got a couple of things there, the WN8 as well as the bounce counter. So if someone's hitting you and they don't penetrate you, it'll tell you how much they you bounce their shot. Uh, the WN8 counter won't be down there on yours, it'll be at the top left hand corner. The reason for that is it's not um, screen dependent, so in other words, if you're on a small screen that would probably be off the page. It's It doesn't automatically, automatically adjust to the screen size. Um, so I had to put that at the top for you guys where for me it's permanently there because obviously I know my screen resolution I don't know your you guys you'll notice at the top you've got a hit pool of where it says 17,440 and then on the team it says 17,450 well that there is the health pool of your team that will be live as when damage is done you've also on the just to the right of it you've got a 
high caliber section so it tells you how much you need for a high caliber medal just to the left of that you've got the hit counter which you're about to see when I finally shoot a tank so as you can see you've got a hit counter which shows 218 on the E25 when spotted you get a noise as well as you get my beautiful Mighty Balls logo in your face <laughs> you can change that if you know how to you don't have to have my Mighty Balls in your face so as you can see that WN8 counter at the bottom is live as you can see you've also got a damage taken counter you've also got a reload counter as you can see it reloading now of that tank in front of you that does not count for brother in arms gun ram or anything like that so take it with a pinch of salt because at the end of the day it could be 15% quicker or it could be even 15% worse off if they've only got a 75% crew because it, it doesn't take into account the crew skill either so you can see you get a pop up message which just lets you know this brief stats you get your, all your standard things like your without and with premium you also get everything standard what you normally get in most XVMs on your after battle results so as you can see you've got your uh, WN8 on it, how much credits, etc. Repair costs, ammunition costs. You've got everything, all your stats for that. If you click on that, you will have a per tank. So, for instance, you've got I've got 4k WN8, 2.1k damage, etc. etc. So, that's the mod pack in general. I hope you enjoy it if you download it, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Uh -huh.